Well, 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 the time has come. The finished project tour. I think you guys will be pretty excited about this, as I am as well. This is, uh, for those of you who are new, it's a 1995 Gulfstream Scenic Cruiser. It's got an 8.3 liter Cummins with a six-speed Allison transmission. Diesel pusher, obviously, the radiator in the back there. I uh, got this thing off of a friend of a friend after it sat for nearly a decade, I've been told. And we've been putting a bunch of work into this thing. I've put tires on it, had all the fluids serviced, everything's looking good there. This thing has been a long time coming, but nevertheless, the big part of it, the inside, is all done. So let's go take a look. I'm going to show you guys a few things on the outside, though got a hitch there and uh, as you'll notice in the very front I did get a tow dolly so I can tow this Jetta with it it tows it great you don't even know the cars back there it's nice to have a vehicle to drive around once you get to your destination I keep my extra fluids and emergency stuff in here not too much in there at the time those are the straps for the car dolly uh, just keep spare fluids and all that good stuff in there and then uh, this next one up here that's just a tiny little bit of storage space I bought an air compressor that fit perfectly right in this spot here. It's really cool because this uh, these storage compartments are extremely well insulated. So I can run this air compressor and then run the hose out through this little spot here where you can theoretically run electrical plugs as well. Uh, run your extension cord through there and then you don't have to leave this door open the whole time. And the air compressor inside here is extremely quiet. Obviously you don't want to run it too much because it'll get hot in there. So everyone's trying to enjoy the nice peace and quiet. And then all of a sudden, oh no, someone turns their air compressor on. Once you close up all the compartments, run your air hose through here. That is incredibly quiet. Oh my gosh. You don't even hardly hear it anymore. <laughs> it's really nice if you just got to air something up or use the little blow gun there and blow something off. Really cool. I love how that turned out. This is more tool storage space. My wife and I basically agreed that I have full access to everything on the lower end here. And uh, I can put whatever I want in there. So I've got all my tools and everything. Right now they're in the back of the Jetta. But all these toolboxes fit perfectly in there. So I've got all my tools should I need to do some work. Here's a little car dolly I got. I keep it chained up to the frame underneath the RV. So nobody can take off with it. But it works great. This car fits perfectly on there. I love how that turned out. Very happy with it. Let's go inside. Power it up. Here we are. I'll push the slide out out here shortly. But yeah, we're pretty much all done on the inside. I am really, really happy with how this turned out. Pretty cool. Um, there's a few little things here and there. You know, nothing's going to be perfect on an old 95, but considering what it was and what we've done to it now, and we've never done anything like this before. We're no experts. I'm really happy with it. So let's push the slide out here. Now, you're probably wondering what these little yellow uh, mats are for. This was our solution to the slide out dragging on this floor material here. So we just put these mats down whenever we're moving the slide out in and out. That way it drags on the mats and not the floor itself keeps the floor from getting scratched up and it works perfectly once we've got the slide out all the way out here all we do is just roll these mats up and throw them in a storage bin under that bench by the table it works great can't complain I'm pretty happy with it and there's the slide out fully extended there we go a lot more room with the slide out extended, obviously, so that looks great. Curtains are new, everything's freshly painted, and this looks great. 
put all uh, brighter LED lights in here so it looks really nice. Mounted a flat screen TV. Thermostats and all the carbon monoxide detectors, smoke detectors and all that are still original. We took the inoperative convection oven out, put this in its place. I gotta say it works all right. I'm pretty happy with it, so we'll probably just hang on to it. Put a new sink in, redid the kitchen. Even got some water in our tank here. We have some nice, uh, nice running water now. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I love it. So there we go. Got some running water now, which is great. I'm really happy with that. Everything's working great, no leaks. The seats here with seat belts, so legally we can have four people ride, ride in this vehicle with seat belts. But, I mean, you know how that usually goes. Sometimes people pack more. <laughs> this thing is very well insulated. I'm very impressed with how quiet it is in here on the inside. Even with the carpeting out and this flooring in its place, it's really, really quiet. I really like it. So, let's move along here. Let's go into the bathroom. We got a new sink back here. Also with, uh, you know, running water as well. All the good stuff. Got hot, cold, sweet. Got some light fixtures. Got your medicine cabinet. The shower works great. I have not tried the jacuzzi tub yet. Just haven't had time to get around to it. But I don't have any reason to doubt that it would work. Put a high flow air fan up there. So that pulls in lots of air. Keeps it nice and cool in here. Got these little straps in here to keep these doors from moving around while the vehicle's in motion. And here is the clothes washer and dryer. Works. Got a little safe in there. All these closets are lit up as well, so that's pretty sweet. Back in the bedroom here, we got an oversized mattress, and it's almost a little bit too big. And the reason I say that is look how high up you're sitting here along the, the nightstands. So, I don't know, we might swap this out with the one we have at home, but we'll see how it goes. We like having a fan in the master bedroom, especially when we're sleeping, so we found this, uh, this smallest ceiling fan we could find. It's a ceiling fan light combo, and it's got a remote control sitting over here on the table. Here it is. I just got to get a battery for it. It takes one of those like miniature AAA batteries or something. Anyway, remote for the TV. And uh, let me go start the generator up here. And we'll turn on these lights and I can show you guys some more. And what's going on here? Generator is running great. Haven't had any problems with it. Topped the cooling off once and never had any other issues. There she goes. I already had it running by the way, that's why I didn't have to preheat it. And within about 30 seconds, the 110 stuff will kick on. So you'll see this light back here come on. And you'll see the, uh, the other two lights here. There's one main light here and then another two lights here on either side that are much brighter. Those will be kicking on any second now. There we go. Look how bright that thing is. I really like it. really lights up the master bedroom. So it's got the little fan up in there. So once I get the remote powered up, I'll be able to try it out and see how it works. And your other 12 volt lights are right here and here and here on either side. It's got two air conditioning units. I got one up in here and then another one up in the front there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All your fuses and circuit breakers are down there and your power switch as well to go from generator to shore power whenever you connect and disconnect so all that's working great looking good tv powers up as well whenever you turn the uh whenever you uh, connect to 110 this tv has worked really well i'd like to redo the stereo system in it sometime and tie it into the tv but that's a project for another time right now all the outlets work we got us a little light strip here so we can change the colors of these lights you can turn the whole thing on and off the push of a button here you can also change it to just a solid white or the uh, different colors that are on here but anyway this so-called smart TV isn't so smart when I try to look up uh, my YouTube channel here so here for example let's go to YouTube so let's give this a try and see how it works Daniel Jager films 
getting that from YouTube. And why does it come up with Daniel Tiger films? And why? <laughs> it's just like these kids' videos. Daniel oh boy. Do you like trains? Yes, I do like trains. I like but that. I want to see my videos. <laughs> But it, it works pretty good. I'm happy with the TV for the most part. Uh, it has really good sound. It's, we've used it a lot, so it works pretty well. Now this fan here is controlled by a thermostat, so I can shut it off here or up here. So I'm just gonna close it or shut it off by the thermostat and then close this up. It is supposed to rain a little bit today, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the fans up and turn the air conditioning on a little bit here. Show you guys the air conditioner units working. We got one in the back here in the bedroom. So we like to run it between 68 and 70, so we'll just flip this on to cool. There she goes. And within a matter of a minute or so, there'll be nice cold air coming out of there. And we got the one up here as well. Fire it up as well. There we go. Yeah, you get both these AC units going, you get cool air really quick. We'll shut all the lights off in here. And see how it looks with just uh, just natural light coming in through the windows. Looks pretty good, looks all right. I'll close up all the blinds here and give you guys an idea of what this looks like when all the blinds are closed. Yeah, you get All right, like who's ready for movie night? You literally can see so much with this huge windshield. It really makes a difference. It's really fun to drive. You can see a lot. I do have to fix the cruise control. I'm not sure what's going on there. If anybody has any tips on those eco cruise uh, controls, let me know. Unfortunately, I don't really have much service information or anything, so I'm kind of guessing and going off of internet research at this point. The walls are painted. The cabinets are painted. Everything's looking good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, love it. Everything's looking sweet. I really like how we did it. Nice. Privacy in the bathroom here. Looks good. Go back into the bedroom here. There we go. All right. So there's your look at it with everything closed up. Generator running and AC units on. I mean, here, just to give you an idea of how quiet it is. So we'll close the door. Generator's running. Both AC units are running and the TV is going. Ah, it's nice and quiet. You don't hear anything but the AC unit running. Turn the light on here. Turn my other light on here. Sweet. I don't know if I like that mirror in the back, but it is what it is. I guess it makes it feel bigger in here. I don't know. Oh, better keep my shoes off the mattress. The wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. That's pretty much it. There's the grand tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure we'll have more videos to come of this thing, of the trips that we have with it, the adventures that we take. It just kind of covers up the covers up this footwell area here, so you have a place to YouTube video plan. There was a lot of there we go and yeah that's pretty much it like i said i'm pretty happy with how it turned out i can't complain for what we got into it and who we were doing this kind of work i'm pretty tickled with the way it turned out i like it i can't wait to use this thing some more all right well that's all for now guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did as always give it a thumbs up and maybe i'll see you guys next time behind the wheel of this thing maybe we'll take a trip with it who knows what we're going to do? I don't know. just here for fun right that's pretty much all this thing is it's not like it's anything that I really need but it's something fun
and it's videos for you guys. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Well, folks, we were doing great, uh, but then I walked around the back of the RV and noticed something was missing. So, uh... <laughs> that exhaust pipe didn't hold on very well. There's a little something here. Maybe that's where it hit. I don't know. But I do remember hearing a pretty loud clunk at one point while I was driving. I just hope it didn't hit anybody on the highway. <laughs>